thank you for joining me today. If you are like me, you see the specials where there's a buy one, get a little grab bag from Ulta Beauty. Quite a few times I've seen that and you've wondered, how is the Ulta Beauty line? How does it wear? How does, is it pigmented? What is it like? I have my cute little headband on here and this is Ulta Beauty headband. I will put the price down below. I think it's cute, it's really soft, and it does stay on um, pretty good, so I like it. The eye primer that I had from Ulta Beauty is a tinted eye primer in satin blush, and I did like the consistency, but it has a color, so I feel like it didn't really help with, like all the shadows kind of took on that rose color. So didn't really completely like that. I liked it just as using it for an eyeshadow, actually. This, the full size, this is a sample, the full size is $12. So it's kind of like a cream eyeshadow, I would kind of say, with a little bit of metallic on it. So let me get some out here. So that's how it looks. So there isn't really a scent to this. So this one, I would say, you know, might be worth picking up as an eyeshadow. Okay, so then I have, I wanted to try matte cream eyeshadow. So this is their cream eyeshadow. And as you can see, that's kind of the size. This is 850, and the color I have is bubblegum. I did like how this wears and it was no creasing and it wore, wore for a pretty long time, but the color is okay. And so here's the applicator. And I will say that it's kind of hard to get it to stay in one place. So, or to not get it all over. So you have to be really, I feel like light handed with it because I just put on a tiny amount and then I like using my hand, my finger for it, but it really does, a little goes a long way. It really spreads out. And I'll do one eye on camera and then the other eye off camera just to see one time. So this video wasn't too long. So hopefully you can see that. It's a pretty color and yeah, it goes on really good, but that tiny amount, it blended all the way up here. So definitely a little goes a long way. Now I will say, the thing that stops me from wanting to buy this is it stinks. And it just makes me a little concerned of what is I'm putting on my eye then when it stinks like that. Oh, and I forgot to do eyebrows. So I don't usually do a lot with my eyebrows. I, I have an eyebrow pencil and an eyebrow brow tint and medium. It seemed like it took longer than other eyebrow pencils to use. Here's kind of, it seems to swatch good, but just to kind of get it on and do a good job, I feel like it just took a little bit longer, but it is soft. So there's no, no, there's a little scent, but not too bad. So if it was on sale or something, it, you know, it might be worth giving it a try. But it, like I said, it did just take a little bit longer to get it to go on and look nicer than some of the other eyebrow pencils that I've tried. Now the brow tint, this is $10. And I really did like this one. This one I would use, I would repurchase. Okay, so I'll just show you. Like I said, I don't really do much to my brows. Here is the applicator. And just kind of have a light hand. There is quite a few different, whoops, different shades online for this. See, there you go. Let me see if there's a scent. There is a little bit of scent. So I guess I would just say going f like just at the beginning, if you are sensitive to smells, the Ulta Beauty brand might not be the one for you. But if you're not real sensitive to smells, you might want to check it out because there are some products that don't smell, but there are like as strong as other ones. But I feel like most of them do have a scent. Okay, so then for going on 
still with the eyes. This is a color stick in champagne. This I would not purchase because this is what happened the first time I tried to use it, it broke. And if you could feel this, it just feels like plastic. And when you, oh, see it just broke again. You have to push really hard, I don't even know if I can, really hard to get any kind of color payoff and it just crumbled. So I would definitely not purchase the color stick. I don't know if maybe I just got a bad one. I also have, and I couldn't find this one again. It was one of those that if you bought so much of, if you spent so much on Ulta, then you got a free little kit with it. So these two palettes came in that kit and I couldn't find them for sale. But it's an eye palette. There's no mirror. Here are the colors that came with it. And this one, it's okay. If I would definitely wear an eye primer with all their eyeshadows because it does help them last longer. And they are kind of powdery as you can, if you can see in there. The pinup girl color over here, this gray, was not very pigmented. I will swatch them, but, and these were okay. The two middle ones were pigmented and that one a little bit. So if you're looking for pigmentation from eyeshadows, I'd probably look for palettes from them. I think that's blurry, but that have the darker colors because the lighter ones just didn't really seem to have a lot of pop to them, but the darker ones did. So let me swatch them for you. Okay, they do feel soft. So here's Petite, whatevs. Let's see, you can see it does have a little bit, but they're just not really, you'd have to build them up. But then the Plum, or Plum Pop. See, they're not too bad, it's just, you'd really have to build them up to get, I like the Autumn Spice. And then pin up, that's really soft to the touch, but look at, there's like hardly anything there. And then nutmeg. So yeah, nutmeg and autumn spice are probably your most pigmented. Just put on, I'm gonna put on the petite. Okay, so then I'm going to use the autumn spice for above my crease. So I wouldn't say they're bad, they're just, you really have to build them up. So if you want more of a natural look, they might be a good option for you. But just know that if you want bold color pigmented, you are gonna have to work at it. So then, yeah, and there's not really a smell to these. So the eyeshadows is fine for scent. Okay, so then we're going to, in the outer crease, I'm going to try, I'll do the nutmeg, this one, and there is some, there wasn't fallout in the other colors, but there is some in this darker color, I don't know if you can see, yeah, I think you can see right around there, so let's try it with the hand, I've been using it with the brush. Yeah, if you put it on with your finger, there is less fallout. I don't think you get too much more of a payout in color, but just more less fallout. Would I be happy to get this? Probably if it was like in a freebie, but would I go out and purchase this? No. Okay, so then we're going to go to the liners. So I have the automatic eyeliner in black, and here's what that looks like. And this is $8. And then there's the gel eyeliner in black out. And this one is also $8. So there is a little bit of a different, I'll swatch them for you. So this is the automatic. It's a skinnier line than this is the gel. Whoops, let me do it down here. <laughs> so the gel is gonna give you, I feel like if you want a thicker, I found that this kind of feels more like a soft crayon, the gel, 
and that the auto I thought was easier to get a thin line. So I think both of these I think are good options. I would I would be happy I'm going to use the rest of the rest of it. There's not really a scent to these. So I think it just on this it really depends on what you're looking for. If you want a bolder line, then I'd go with the gel. If you want kind of more of a tight line, I'd go with the automatic. So today, let's see. I think that I will use the automatic and they were both easier easy to smudge out and stuff so those I was happy with okay so we'll go ahead and put this on and I'll put it on the lower lash line a lot of times I don't wear eyeliner on the lower lash line I got that a little too high but I'm going to try that today I never seem to get my eyes even my left one is usually always thicker of a line than my left, my right one. Then for mascara is 1050. And the one that I have is the Limited Lashes Lengthening and Volumizing in black. And I did find that this was lightweight on the eye. It did lengthen. Really no complaints with this. Just except on the, well, actually let me take that back. On the lower lash line, I'm not sure if I would use this all the time because like I said, there was a little bit of flaking by the end of the night, but I do seem to have that problem with a lot of my mascaras. So that might just be my eyes. I would say it's more lengthening. Let's see it, what did it say? Yeah, lengthening, volumizing. It does volumize, but I would consider this more of a lengthening mascara more than volumizing. So then, what do we got? Okay, so I'm going to put concealer on just underneath the eye, and I did not have an Ulta concealer. Currently, right now, I'm using the Clinique Line Smoothing Concealer. So we will put that on, and I'm going to finish the other eye off camera, and then I will be back. Okay, so I finished my other eye, put concealer on, and let's move on. Okay, so the other thing that I have is the Face Sculpturing Color Stick and Contour. And this is $10. And I'm not the best when it comes to contouring. I just never really have been able to master that. And so I actually liked this better for using it as a cream eyeshadow. Now this one, their actual cream eyeshadow did last longer than this one, but I did like it as an eyeshadow. But we will try it as a contour, but like I said, I'm bad. Now this one, so this isn't the full size, this is a sample, or the mini, because this one is .06 and the full size is .2, and so the full size is $10. So, yeah, there we go. It just, I feel like it doesn't really, I guess maybe it gives a little definition. It does go on creamy and it's very easy to blend. So, but there you have it. And let me see if percent. There's, it kind of, kind of smells like a crayon. Okay, so then we also have, I have this little palette that has a bronzer and a highlighter in it. So let's see, we're going to try the bronzer. I'll try that kind of as a blush over, or on top of the contour stick and see. Yeah, see, mm. I don't know. I'm just not one for contouring. So I'm just going to use, this is the Leap Leap lip and cheek color stick in mauve and again the full size of this one is ten dollars and this one smells kind of like a crayon too so this one let's use for blush just blend it in it's a little bit harder to blend in than the contour stick but not much 
and as you can see it is pigmented so I think that this one you could build up if you wanted to and like I said it smells like a Korean but it was pretty easy to blend okay so then we let's try the highlighter it's called the illuminator and this it is pretty powdery as you can see I've used it a few times that it does kind of get a little powdery there but it is pretty pigmented on the brush and I think that's showing up good on camera yeah I feel like it's a pretty good highlighter don't highlight my nose or Cupid's bow but I think that you can kind of see so it's a pretty good highlighter and there's no scent so it's kind of a cute little compact okay so then for lipsticks are the last thing well not the last thing because I do have a setting spray okay so for lipsticks we have the a lipstick just your general regular lipstick and stay fierce this is the color and this one is yeah this is the full size and this is 850 now this one is very interesting it's creamy to go on it was pretty you know your general lipstick as far as long wearing but it's so strange it smells exactly like a Korean when you unwrap it so again if you're sensitive to smells probably wouldn't do this one then we have the matte metallic liquid lipstick Oops. If you can see that and this one went on very creamy there is a slight scent it's not as strong as the other lipstick but I felt like for a matte or for a liquid lipstick this was very creamy it didn't dry out my lips and it wasn't as long wearing as some of the really drying liquid lips but because it didn't dry out your lips I liked it and then the other option is the lip and cheek stick so I will go ahead and swatch these for you okay I did clean off my hand over here so that is the cheek and lip color and then here is oops, the lipstick yeah it's really creamy and the liquid lip you can see there is some metallic in there I think what I will use today is I'm going to put on the lip and crayon and then I'll cover it with a little bit of the liquid lip but you can smell it on your lips I couldn't smell it when I was applying it to my cheeks but you can on your lips here's some the liquid lip I'm just gonna put a little bit of that over so then I do have the Ulta Beauty makeup matte makeup setting spray so we'll go ahead and use that so there is let's see a little bit of scent to it I can't really put my finger on what it is but it's not real strong it is pretty light I wouldn't mind I'm definitely going to use the whole one of this okay so what I'm going to do is finish fixing my hair. Okay, I was trying to curl my hair today, but it's not really wanting to hold a curl. By the way, I usually forget to say in a video, but I am wearing Color Street nails. I will leave a link down below for the consultant that I get these from. Okay, so let's recap. I'm going to start with the things that I would possibly repurchase again. And that is the mascara. I felt like it worked pretty good it did the job it lengthened it didn't really volume but this would be a possible purchase repurchase the brow tint medium I really like this one and I probably will look at repurchasing this because it didn't make it crunchy and some of the other brow tints that I've tried I feel like your eyebrows get crunchy so that would probably be a repurchase and the I liked both the eyeliners, the gel eyeliner and the automatic was pretty much a tie for me. So if I needed a black, I, they did come in other colors too. So these would probably be, I could 
probably look at repurchasing those because I did like them. And let's see if that's it. Um, I liked the highlighter, so possibly just a highlighter, but I wouldn't do the bronzer. Okay, so things that I would probably be happy to maybe get as a freebie, you know, gift with purchase, and that I will finish using, but I wouldn't necessarily repurchase, would be the eye contour stick because I'd use this as an eyeshadow, so that's why I wouldn't really repurchase it, but I would be happy if that came in a freebie. I will continue to use this one. The lip and cheek color, I probably will use this um, for lipstick more than the cheek color, even though, you know, I did like it, but I liked it as a lipstick better because it is creamy, but because of the scent, that is why I would not repurchase, but I will use it up. The lipstick itself, I, again, it was very creamy. I liked it, but it was just too much of a scent for me. So if you happen to like the scent of crayons or it doesn't bug you, then I would say check it out. But if that scent is gonna bother you like it did me, I would say stay away from this one. So if they could take out the scent, I'd be happy with this formula. The matte metallic lipstick, it was okay. It wasn't as drying. So possibly, but I there's just so many lipsticks out there and it didn't really stand out, so I wouldn't repurchase, but I will use this one up. The cream eyeshadow, if this is kind of goes back to the smell thing, if this didn't all in out stink, then I would really be interested in purchasing more colors because I really liked the formula. I liked how it weared. It didn't crease and I did like it, but it's just, I don't know, that smell, it just makes me a little paranoid about what is in here. So if they could get rid of the smell, but I don't know, that might be something that's making the formula, but I would repurchase it, but with that smell in here, I will not repurchase. The tinted eye primer and satin blush, I think all of theirs has a tint to it, well, they have the tinted, so I wouldn't repurchase this because I don't really want tint in my eye primer. Maybe if that's something you're looking for, I would say try it because I did like the formula. It didn't stink, but again, with the color, that's not what I'm looking for in an eye primer. So I will finish using this tube, but I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow. And so then we're with the matte setting spray. I don't really use a lot of setting sprays because I don't wear foundation a lot, so I don't know if I can really compare this to a lot of other setting sprays, but I would say if you do use a lot of setting sprays, I would give it a shot because there didn't smell, the spritzer was nice, it was light and airy, so I would give it a shot. Okay, so now onto the things that I wouldn't repurchase, and that is eyeshadows not they don't smell but I'm not real impressed with the pigmentation so I will continue to use these but I would not repurchase the automatic eyebrow pencil I might use it once in a while but I wouldn't repurchase this one just because it seemed like it was more work and for me personally I liked the brow tint better so that I would repurchase and if I had to pick between the two this was just okay the thing that I will not repurchase for sure and I will not even use is the eye color stick in champagne since it broke off after filming this I'm probably just gonna have to throw this one away because it's no good to me that way so I hope that this video was helpful so there was definitely I feel like some hits and misses so I think that if you compared any brand you'd probably have some hits and misses I think that they could get a lot more hits if somehow they could get that scent out of them. But I hope that that helped you. I'd love to know down below what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.